here are some reactions that are commonly found in your studies about reactions involving acids. So here is a whole gen general list of reactions involving acids. And then over here we have specific examples. And the examples are very limited. And what you need to do is to extend that by referring to more um, resources. All right, actions involving acids. The first example here is a standard one. You have metal, solid, a uh, solid metal, and then you put it into an acid bath. And what you get is salt and hydrogen gas being evaporated. You can test for hydrogen by using the popped splint test. All right, the, the, the splint will pop when you insert it uh, to where you collected the hydrogen, assuming that you collected the hydrogen in a test tube or whatever. So here are some specific examples. A zinc solid, a zinc metal, you put it in hydrochloric acid, you get zinc chloride and hydrogen gas. Uh, we have another example is magnesium with uh, sulfuric acid, getting magnesium sulfate and hydrogen gas. You can use this to do the pop test. Now, uh, it's important to note that uh, the zinc, I mean the metal that you use to put into an acid, uh, the reactivity of the, these metals are higher than the reactivity of hydrogen. And we'll talk about the reactivity series in, in our next uh, new topic. Uh, a little cautionary note is that when you put metal with nitric acid, uh, you don't really get a salt and hydrogen, you get a metal nitrate, which is, which is the salt, you all, and you'll get water and nitrogen oxides. And that's the only uh, difference if you use nitric acid. All other acids, you get salt and hydrogen. Next, we'll talk about mixing alkali and acid. That's just a neutralization reaction. This reaction here is a redox reaction. This is a neutralization reaction. You have alkalis and acids, you make salt and water. Classic example is having sodium hydroxide with hydrochloric acid, making sodium chloride and water, all right? You can evaporate this, uh, the water to get the salt that's left. Uh, another example is a metal hydroxide with an acid. You also get salt and water. This is also a neutralization reaction. So here you have uh, copper oxide, solid, put it into an acidic sulfuric acid bath. You get copper sulfate, which is blue in color, and uh, water. So your uh, reaction will start from uh, something that is powdery with uh, transparent clear solution. You get a blue solution that appears in, at the end. Uh, next example is a metal carbonate with an acid. What you get is with that, I'm sorry, this is a metal oxide, not hydroxide, okay? Okay, metal carbonate with acid, you get salt, water, and carbon dioxide. The carbonate will decompose into water and carbon dioxide, or the metal will have involved a displacement reaction, right? So here you have calcium carbonate with an hydrochloric acid, um, calcium carbonate, Calcium will displace the hydrogen to form calcium chloride, and you have water from here, and that will the H from the from here will displace the calcium, and then this carbonate will decompose into CO2, leaving an oxygen to react with the uh, hydrogen ions from the chloride, uh, hydrochloric acid. Okay, and finally our example. Move it down a little bit. We have ammonium reacting with acid, and you're basically getting in this uh, ammonium salt. Very easy. Ammonium plus HCl, you get ammonium chloride. That's it. These are some basic examples of reactions involving acids.